Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So, uh, in this one I am going to be talking to Dutch, and the mission is going to be called, um, That's Murphy Country. Uh, in the last one I went, uh, went and helped Sadie Adler. We found out that uh, Arthur has tuberculosis as well. So yeah, it's kind of like the beginning of the end now for the, for the narrative. Sort of. I mean, that's basically where I sort of mark the beginning of the end. Is Arthur's, like, slow decline in his health. Uh, if you guys could leave a like, leave a comment for the video, and hit that subscribe button too, that would be very much appreciated. For now, though, let's get started, shall we? Let's go see Dutch. Quite two. Do you okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Jose. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Oh yeah, he's mad. He's crazy. He's crazy. Come on, Charles. We're going to Murphy country. Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing now? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. <sighs> That's encouraging. Follow me. Oh yeah, also my dog's in the room okay, with me, girl. so if you hear any grunts, barks, or whatever. Uh, that's why someone's just sort of done something outside. Another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Saint Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. 
I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. Yeah, it is curious to think like, what would happen if Hosea was still around. To sort of temper Dutch's madness. Then again, I think Hosea did point out long before he died that the group was sort of losing its way and that Dutch's plans were getting a bit out of hand. So if anything, he probably would have left, maybe, and urged other people to leave. There's the bridge. But then again, maybe Dutch wouldn't have gone insane if Hosea hadn't died. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Because losing Hosea and Lenny was kind of like the the starting point of his actual like slip down into madness. I see one anyway. And that'll do. Come on. Watch it. Uh, I don't want the bow. Do not need the bow. I got throwing knives. <coughs> okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into war. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Uh, this is no fun. Might be quicker, but... I don't know, is it quicker? Oh, actually, no, never mind. It's in transition. As I say, if I was... If I had to like control that uh, canoe all the way upstream, that would take forever. All right. Oh, this takes forever. That's Butcher Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. 
Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Those be Murphy country. This is one beautiful looking game. Like every mission that comes out, the, you know, there's some sort of different scenery or different time of day that makes the scenery look different. Good evening. These Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. I mean, just look at the moonlight coming through the trees. Ah, amazing. It's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Let's move! Was there any really, like, any real choice there? Surely we had to steal the horses. Either that or there probably is an option just to walk it. That would take forever. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. A uh, polite way of telling me to shut up. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Should we get off the horse if we want to be quiet? I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. Hey. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Why do I always gotta do the carry? Because I do the dogs, god dang it! No, god dang it. Damn it, they're onto us. That was close. Come on. No, I didn't see that third guy. We must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Oh yeah, boy, I got a tomahawk. That's what I want. Uh, what beats a throwing knife? A throwing axe. Let's go on. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's a stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite! Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Can't we just throw the dynamite? Well, I suppose we can't throw it from here. That's that's a hell of a throw. 
But we don't have to throw it inside, do we? Or do we? Just throw dynamite outside and they all come rushing out and we'll just gun them down. Be like a good old shooting down, showdown, okay. hooting at it. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the kit. It's a good old fashioned hooting at it. Light that stick and throw it in there. Oh! oh. You know, the thing I find most disturbing about what he said is that he goes to church. What church lets him through the front door? Oh, Charles. Cool. Uh, there's more down here. They got on them. Ah, oh, of course. S lotion. That was the last thing I was expecting to see on one of them. A lotion. Okay. Fine. From Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Your eyes looked a bit squint then. Uh. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 did, um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. <laughs> Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, a gorgeous looking game. Oh, oh you gotta be shitting me. Oh, what? Ah, oh, what a prick. Alright, next person I see coming at me on horse, I'm gonna shoot him. Civilian or not. My god, that was that was ridiculous. We were right there as well. Like right outside town. Okay. Well try that again. Ah from yes. camp as well. They 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 do, um It's okay, miss. The others they they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they? <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. <laughs> Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Okay, skip some of that journey. Plus, it was around here that guy ran into me with a horse, so it's probably best not to use the roads too much. For another repeat of that happening. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. So which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on now. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Brute guys. Oh, my darling. How did you manage well, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. This is death? Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Let's ride. Okay, so that was, yeah, that was the woman from earlier in the game. The one whose husband died. Which makes sense that Arthur would bump into her. This is basically his... Like, this part of the game is basically his kind of redemption arc. Sort of. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh! You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my... calm down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his 
do, Jake? Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. <laughs> Ross about the bank robbery. <laughs> I wanted them to kill you. You did what? <laughs> I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot She's me! Crazy. She ain't worthy. You told on me! Oh, you're you not betrayed! So calm down, boy. What? Yeah. Calm down. Arthur? Ah. He's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You're not so big now. Hurry, your majesty! You... Take her! <laughs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. <laughs> yeah, so it just so happens that... Uh Oh, hang on. <laughs> What's wrong, boy? <coughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Arthur. Yeah, so it just so happens, like, literally as one of the most, like, dramatic scenes in the game happens. My dog's been quiet all day, just been sitting there doing nothing. Sleeping, usually, you know, eating. Just so happens that when one of the more, uh, dramatic scenes in the game happens, the delivery van comes down and starts my dog barking. So if you hear any of that in the finished, sort of, video, I do apologise. I will do my best to sort of edit that out. And I think the delivery van is driving back up the hill now, setting my dog off yet again. The worst thing ever was when my dog realised if he like pro jumps up on the sofa, you can see right out the window. Before that, he had no idea what was out there. Now, <laughs> whenever a vehicle comes up and down the road, he'll just bark at it. Which, as you can imagine, makes recording commentary a bit of a pain. But oh well. He's my gaming buddy, so... Damn you. Another damn morning. Well, yep, she did dive into the bottle, didn't she? What are you doing, Sam? It's fine. No, Don't worry about it. The delivery van is gone. I think. There's my horse. There's my horse. Yeah, I'll try and edit some of that out <laughs> from the finished product, but yeah, no, no guarantee. Uh, where's this? Where is Sadie Adler? Oh god, she's miles away. Right, I'm gonna try and do this one. This might be the one we we break John Marston out of prison. I'll try and fit that in. Because yeah. the last mission didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. Yeah, the only problem with this game is that some of the missions do take a while to travel to. Which, uh, I say a while, it takes like, what, 10 minutes? Tops, maybe 20. But, uh, that means that, that, that that's a lot when you've only got like an hour to record. Because when I first did this, I streamed it at about an hour and a half each episode. Um, that was the only thing, I, I, you know, was, I thought it was a decent amount of time. But I want to try and do these in like under an hour. These, the parts for this walkthrough. Just so they're a bit easier to watch.
Okay, I must be getting fairly close to it now. 175. What? How have I got 175 bounty on me? What did I do? Must be must be bad. 175 is a decent amount. But I can't remember what I did. I don't know what's happening here. Huh? Did the place to score gold a bit? The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be. It's gonna be valid. I can handle myself just fine. I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. You got a boy. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you! Thank you both! Alright, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. <sighs> How many times, Marston? Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Oops. <laughs> back in, back under the ridge. It is it. So do I kill this guy or just knock him out? Ah, oh, kill him. There you go. Okay. Come on up. Just eating, just eating like a maniac. Uh, something for Dead Eye. There we go. All right. Where's John? <coughs> Grab that rifle. You can use the scope. Hey, you're in the way. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Well, I I don't. I shot them both. They were dead. 
Or that little screen, you know, the screen went light with all that little blip and stuff. Yeah, man's dead. God, she moves fast. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh. and get him together. Oh. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Yep, that seems a good plan. Come on, partner. <laughs> Hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. <laughs> they're, they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Yep. Arthur does have a way with words. Come on, Are you well liked in your place of work? You better hope someone <coughs> in there actually gives a damn. I'm down, down boy. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or so? very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13. Faster. 14, 15. Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out! And over what? For nothing! Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting, I can't hear you! Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards! Come on! Don't cry, buddy! I don't wanna die! Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John, blow you too? Now, no funny business for Mr. Medican here to stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, what the hell? I fell off the bridge. Okay, I should run. <coughs> well, they, they're not running, so... Never mind.
Oh, I'm dead. Okay, we're good. Come on. Here comes the ball. Get down. Been a while, champ. Okay, let me see if I can. You're telling me. What took you so long? I'll explain later. Was that you? Hey, I took them all up. Oh! Damn. Oh, come on. Really? After that? After that amazing scene of me just getting down like nine men? Some rando on the fucking wall of the prison takes me up. I want my hat back. No, I want my hat back. There we go. I'm down, boy. It's all good. I'm I literally. The thing is, because he's up the other side, you can see like a different angle for the window than I can. So I have no idea what he's seeing. That it's causing him to bark. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on, Arthur. Ah, oh, my god. Right, there you go. I'm half dead, woman. Like, I've been shot like six times. I've seriously no idea what's setting off my dog. I can't hear anything out there. Calm down, boy. It's all good. Alright, after this mission, I better go check. Calm down, boy. You always seem to need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You yeah, I'm gonna use my Seriously? rifle now, I think. Let me. You Right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that boat around, or we will gun you down. Yeah, nice, nice threat right there. Turn that boat around, or we gun you down. Bang. You know, I 
I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Yep, yep, got it. Wait, that's not my horse. That's not my horse either. No, oh, that is my horse. Oh my god, what am I doing? What the? Why is that one marked as. Oh, I can't give up. Is Abigail alright? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like. like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we. What about. The, the money. Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Bridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all.
Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a day here and see what's happening with my dog, because he's been staring out the window for the last few minutes. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed the uh, episode, the uh, video. I'm going to do my best to edit out uh, some of the barks and whatnot. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. No, oh, that's nice. But anyway, I'm uh, yeah going to wrap it up here. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. And in the next part, I'm going to be going to Annisburg to go and meet Dutch and probably do one to other missions after that. Because that seems to be the only one active at the moment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm doing my best to edit out the commentary as well, just to get rid of some of the... <sighs> if I don't pause it, people are going to keep talking to me. Uh, yeah, just to uh, edit out some of the barks and whatnot, but if some of them get through, I do apologize. But yeah, he's my little gaming buddy, so I, uh, yeah, it's a price I'm happy to pay uh, <laughs> for having him in the room with me. Yeah, so wait around for the end screen as well, and you'll get two suggestions for stuff on my channel you might like to check out. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself, do take care, and do carry on gaming. See you next time.